Hello guys, in this video we are going to simulate a flow through prism using open foam. It is going to be a 2D case, a laminar steady state case. I am going to use simple foam solver. I already made a video on how to create the geometry, how to mesh it using ANSYS Fluent, how to import the mesh and use it inside open foam for your simulation. In this video, I am just going to jump into the place where I already have the mesh from ANSYS Fluent and I'm going to use it directly inside open foam. So this tutorial focuses on uh, plotting the coefficient of drag, coefficient of lift and other coefficients using the open foam functions utility instead of do it, doing it in para view. There is another method to do it in para view. So that is for another video. But in this video, we are just going to use the functions uh, library from open foam to plot the coefficients. Uh, we are going to plot it using GNU plot. We will see how to do everything. First, uh, I will get into my case directory. So this is the case directory. I have zero constant para dot form, which is the para view file, prism dot msh and system. First, let me open the explorer. Okay, now we have this. So I just imported pitch daily uh, tutorial you can see those in the previous video i will give the link above also in the description so you can see that also we are going to just check out what are the case setup i have made here uh, the case setup is going to be slightly different from what i did in the previous video even the mesh is different but the method is same so we will just see here so as you can see there are uh, the turbulent files also the k epsilon files i will let, i will let you know why i have kept those so first let's check out the u file so this is the velocity file we are uh, giving velocity in x direction the magnitude is 0 0.0005 meters per second why i have kept this velocity is like the Reynolds number is around 33 to 35. So it's not much uh, beyond, you know, Reynolds number 60, the flow starts to become turbulent behind the prism. So I chose this to keep it laminar and steady. We have the inlet, outlet, walls, prism, front and back planes. So we will visualize it right now. I'll open my para foam file. So this is the geometry. This is not a real ideal geometry to be used, but just for a tutorial case, I'm using this. So I made this mesh in ANSYS Fluent and I just imported here. So we will see what are the patches available here. First, there is the inlet, which is here. And there is our outlet, which is over there. And uh, we have the prism. Okay, so there is the inlet, prism, outlet, and I kept the walls like the top and bottom as walls, and then there is front and back planes, which will cover this and the back plane. So we will just see only the front and back planes. You can see there are only front and back planes. There is an empty cavity for uh, the prism, and the prism alone is a wall. So it is just a 2D wall. The extrusion you are seeing here is for the open foam to understand the finite volume method. So otherwise, this is just a 2D case. So we will close it over here. I hope you understood where are the patches. So I'll close it. When we are in the velocity file, you can see there is inlet, outlet, walls, which is the top and bottom. There is prism and front and back planes. I used front and back planes uh, the type as empty so that we will be getting a 2d case and the prism is also a wall so it is no slip walls is again no slip and outlet is zero gradient and as we discussed the inlet is in x direction it is 0 0.0005 meters per second so let's see what is there in the pressure file in the pressure file again the same boundary conditions for the geometry and uh, for inlet, it is zero gradient. Outlet is fixed value, which is uniform zero. Again, it is a zero gradient. And uh, walls is also zero gradient. And front and back 
Fintan back is uh, you know, always empty since this is 2D case. Now I'll just open the epsilon file to show you what I have done in the turbulent fly files as well. So the geometry is same, only the conditions will vary based on the turbulence model you are using. In this case, uh, we are just going to run laminar case, no turbulence model. But just in case if you want to use these files, you can use. I will zip all those files and give the link. You can download and just run it. So you can see for the walls, we have used epsilon wall function and prism is also wall. So epsilon wall function, front and back planes are empty. Outlet is zero gradient and inlet is fixed value which is a value that initial guess we are giving for the solver to converge to certain values based on the flow. So the same is for k, nu t and nu tilde and for the constant uh, forget about the polymesh right now maybe I'll just delete it as of now. So the transport properties uh, we are using nu of 0.00001476 this is ER. So the new is uh, kinematic viscosity. So this is uh, kinematic viscosity of ER at probably 15 degrees Celsius. So I'm using that. And the turbulence properties is also going to be laminar. So in case if you are using these files from the link I'm going to give below. And if you want to run a turbulent case as well. So you can just comment out appropriately and use the RAS model. That is why I'm keeping this. Otherwise, this simulation tutorial is going to be a laminar case. Okay, in systems folder, there is less number of files. First, let's see the force coefficients. The FE scheme and FE solutions are just the default from what is used in pitch daily. So the force coefficients file, uh, we are using the library uh, libforces.so. So this is default and right control is also time step and time interval. You don't have to worry about all of these. So where you have to be very careful is rho infinity. So the rho infinity is the density of the fluid, the working fluid. In this case, it is uh, air. So I have kept as 1.225, which is the density of air at 15 degrees Celsius. And uh, lift direction is going to be in the Y and drag direction is going to be X because that is how we made the geometry and uh, this is the axle midpoint on ground so you can just keep it 0 0 0 because the way we make the geometry is that the center of the prism lies at 0 comma 0 comma 0 in the Cartesian coordinates so we are making the geometry in such a way that the coefficient r that is the axle midpoint on ground is 0 0 0 and pitch axis is is it so when there is going to be lift or drag the axis is going to be z so i hope you can visualize so the pitch axis is uh, in z and the mag u infinity is the magnitude of fluid uh, which we are passing okay so it is just going to be the same velocity as the one which we gave in the u file so it is again 0 0.0005 and the l reference is the length of the body so in this case it is uh, around one meter it is approximated of course and the area reference is the uh, reference area which we are making using the geometry so in this case it is a one meter prism so the reference area is also one so you don't have to worry about this this was there in the previous file i removed it so let's jump into control directory so in the control dict you can see there is simple form is the application and uh, we are starting from zero the end time is 2000 it doesn't take up to 2000 but this is what is there as default for pitch daily and uh, delta t we are going to keep it as one since it is in uh, steady state there is not much variation and the right interval it is i kept it thousand so that you know wherever the uh, simulation converges it will stop it is going to converge within 100 so even if I give more than uh, 100 or 200, only the last time step which, at which the solution converges will be there. So I'm going to use this in the right format. All these are going to be default. We are not going to change anything. And in the functions, you have to add this. You have to include the force coefficients. So this is the file which we saw earlier, which is this file. So we have to include it. 
and make sure you are putting that in the systems directory okay now the setup is completed we have to use this so this is the mesh which i made using ansys flint we are going to use this and import it into uh, open form so in case you are you don't have this para.foam and suppose you are using wsl don't use the para foam command to open the para view file because that in that case the computer does not allow the gpu nodes to uh, access wsl so you will not be getting proper counter results or you can't get proper visualization in that so what you have to do is do touch para dot foam so that is how you create this file once you create this double click this to open so that it opens in the windows instead of linux so when it opens in windows it will have all access to the geometry nodes uh, sorry the graphical nodes okay we have created that what we have to do is import the fluent mesh so the command is fluent mesh to foam uh, followed by the uh, name of the mesh file so in case you are importing a 3d mesh it will be fluent 3d mesh to foam but this is a 2d case so fluent mesh to foam followed by the name i'll click enter so this will import everything which you have done in the ansys fluent machine so suppose if you gave the boundary condition naming selections so you will you are going to get it for example i have already mentioned everything in the ansys fluent using naming selections to name certain uh, patches as walls some as outlet inlet prism so everything just gets imported over here along with all the proper mesh so that is what we visualized at the beginning now we will see how to run the case so if you want to run this you know very big prism very big geometry you can decompose it but this one is just a one meter prism it is very small so i am going to run it uh, right away so it converges pretty fast as you can see it converged in only 74 iterations so that is pretty low and uh, we can see what are the coefficients we are getting so the coefficient of drag the total is 0.76 uh, maybe so that is reasonable it's not a, a unrealistic value it is a realistic value and coefficient of uh, lift is around 0.0008 in the negative y direction so the value is very small we are getting some value which is you know approximately just zero so we don't have to bother about it much but the coefficient of drag is 0.759 which is about 0.76 which is reasonable and realistic so we can first visualize the contour plots i'll open this Okay, we can see it is at the time step 74 we want the velocity for convenience i will change this to turbo i personally like this so i'm changing it rescale so as we can see we have obtained a very good no slip condition near the walls so that is absolutely zero and uh, there are no slip condition properly obtained near the walls as well the upper and lower walls so now we will see how to plot the coefficients so once you run the simulation as normally you will get you are get going to get this uh, time step file apart from that you are also going to get the folder called post processing so inside that you will be having a folder called force coefficient and when you go inside that there you are going to get something called the coefficient or data so this is the data file that has all the coefficient values at each time step so you can see at time one two three everywhere it is uh, calculated and it is updated over here so once it converges you can take the last value and uh, plot it right but if you want to plot it over the time steps there is a way but if you just want the values you can take it from here you can see it is properly columned so the first one is coefficient of drag and for coefficient of lift you can take from here and just in case if you want to take the coefficient of moment there is coefficient of moment for pitch roll and yaw everything is there so you can take it from here if you want to plot using excel you can import this file easily just remove these when you import into excel or google sheets and you can plot it easily 
but if you want to plot it inside open form without much you know uh, tweaking of the graph or uh, making some uh, custom edits to the graph if you just want to plot it right away using open form you can do using one simple command which is form monitor with the m being capital and you are going to locate the file so the file is in post processing first coefficient 0 and coefficient dot dat and just press enter you are going to get this graph with all the values plotted so you can see this graph is pretty neat not uh, very presentable but you can understand what is going on in the solution so this is pretty good you can use this method to plot the coefficient of uh, drag lift and all pretty much that's it so once you close the graph make sure you are giving control c so that the command ends otherwise the graph is going to show up again and again and again till you give the control c so pretty much that's it for this video i hope you understood how to plot the question of drag and lift using open form in itself so you can use the same to you know plot question of drag and lift for 3d cases as well or 2d case using other geometries like cylinder or airfoil whatever so the method remains same so if you have any other doubts um, write down in the comments or write a mail to us we will drop the email id below so if you like this video drop a like share it to people who might be benefited from this video and consider subscribing to the channel thank you